Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new XD tutorial and today I'm just showing you the login page in XD. So I'm using Adobe XD 2020 and if you want to use this version or you can use the earlier version or the like uh, later version, it doesn't matter. The matter is the technique in this XD. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So I just took a artboard which is like uh, the iPad Pro. So you can take another artboard going to the artboard options and here lots of options over there. Or you can go to the home options or you can take the artboard from here from the iPad portion. So I'm using the 10.5 inch 11 now i'll uh, just draw something over here uh, so drawing a shape like this okay now i need some uh, photographs first so i'm going to these options and i'll download the forest wallpaper downloading this one or this one is good so in this portion i can take this one okay i'll take this going to the file and import options in this windows or uh, os that means the, the windows 10 you can write press and you can import your photographs so here i'm importing that things that's good and making it smaller like that right press and mask with the shape so if you want to make the mask with the shape in a windows you have to uh, go this upper portion and here will be three lines over there and you can press over and you can get that settings I'm taking only this area okay now I can write down something like that going to the text tool and writing something making it 23 uh, like uh, 100 pt that's good and the gap between two letters it will be zero that's good and the font i took here which is the titanium web and lots of options over there regular italic or like light or bold like that welcome back so now time to give fill color or you can take the color picker and choosing color from here i think white is good from here and write down something in a small letter making it a little bit smaller and again text and write something which is uh, really uh, smaller than this so i have to make it 50 and I don't want to keep this font in a bold I will make it lighter and all caps and small font like 23 that's good and place it over there or you can make it this so I think this should be like that okay that's good and uh, now time to uh, give like the uh, logo over there you can give the logo so you can make the logo on logo like this or you can place over there so here i make it in the middle of that that's good and now username and all the stuffs just place over there i'll provide you the xd file in my video description and you can just take that all the stuffs from that so check out my video description to over there so i'm exporting this one so uh, how to export that going to the file and export and like batch export you can export all the stuffs or you can just select only this artboard and go to the file and export or like all artboard you can just export all artboards that's good and replace that things that means already i just exported previous one now time to mock it up now we got some jpeg or png files which is like this 
that means new one is like that okay fine we will mock it up so we downloaded psd file which is the photoshop document file and i'll uh, mock it up in front of you before that check out my video description over there you will find out a download link which is for the mockup mockup download link please check it out and so i'm opening up the psd file it could be open up in uh, photoshop 2020 or photoshop uh, 2019 so i didn't update uh, yet 2021 i'll update it soon so in 2020 i'm updating or opening it up this is the options of the like mock-up so here all the screen over there and this one is the ipad screen so here is smart object double press over there it will open up a new window and make sure it no and turn all the steps off i'm going to the file I'll press embed it after pressing the place embedded options which one we just export it a little bit earlier just place it out and make it bigger and bigger make the screen size like that and press ctrl or command s it will save in this place so in this portion if you want you can keep all the stuff empty except this one or you can fill up all the screen over there all are like smart object made it you can just press and just go to the file and place embed it and import that file which one you export it and make it bigger or you can make it fit like that and there's a tick button it will save in this window so you can uh, fill up all the screen like your own i just shown you the way this is your work to do practice at home i'm providing you the font i'm providing you the xd file and the mockup as well so hope that you learned a lot from this video hope that you enjoyed this video and learned from here thumbs up and share with your friend don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and if you have any kind of confusion question or query or any kind of idea for making new type of video tutorials so please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am a7 signing out today stay safe stay at home bye bye